Hey everybody, so now we, this is the second part to creating a React app. So if you haven't watched the first one on how to set this up, go ahead and go back and watch that. Uh, this is kind of where we're at right now. We just have the main app component made. So the next part here is what we're going to do is that uh, React, the way that it's set up is that there are containers and there are components. Okay, and so what I like to think of React as is basically like a box of chocolates. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay, it looks delicious. It looks wonderful. Um, so we can think of React in these three different parts. So the app itself is like the box. It holds everything that we're going to stick into it. Okay, and then the containers which is where all of the logic and everything is going to live. It's like like this like little plastic part in between here. It's kind of what holds everything together, but it's still inside of the app. And then the chocolates, the delicious good part, that is the components. That's where we put uh, a lot of the more tasty fun stuff that happens, okay? So I'll probably be referencing the box of chocolates for a while, but uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I'm a much more visual person. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some new folders so we can keep ourselves organized. Okay, let's make a folder called containers and let's make another one called components. Okay, and in each one, we're going to make a new file. Let's see, new file. We're going to say counter container.js. I know, real original. Uh, components and then new file counter. I just say comp. I just say comp. Uh, .js. Okay, so these are blank. These are empty, but these are going to follow a very similar format to this, um, except we're not going to be importing these two things, okay? All right, so let's get some practice in. Let's let's do it. So we say import react from react. Okay, and then we say class, uh, and then we just have to get this a name. So um, I'm just gonna call it counter counter con uh, short for counter container extends react component okay render return All right it's yelling at us because there's nothing there and then at the bottom here instead of doing that react dom a uh, thing that we did in the app, we say export default, and then we say the name of our component, which is countercon. Cool, I'm gonna say, hey, okay, I'm the countercon. Okay, so and again, <clears throat> remember that this should. <clears throat> And remember that this should just be one div, okay? Everything's going to be living in one div. And we go back over here to the index.js and we have to import the countercon from. Then we have to tell it where it lives. We have to tell it file path. We have to say it's in the folder of containers and then give the file name. Okay, so instead of down here saying, hey, I'm alive, let's see if this worked. Countercon. Cool. And remember in JSX, everything has to have a closing tag. So all of this, what this is, it's just basically short for everything that we're going to put into our counter container. Okay, so let's see if it worked. And it definitely did says, hey, I'm the counter con, which is the counter container. 
Okay, and again, if uh, if your program's not running, uh, just remember to uh, use terminal, go into your folder, and say npm start. Okay, mine just happens to already be running. Cool. All right. So let's continue on and making the counter component. All right. Let's practice again. Import React from React. And then class. I'm just gonna call it counter because this is the nitty gritty of it. This is the actual chocolate in our chocolate box. It's the delicious stuff. Okay, extend react dot component. Right, render, we need to tell it to come up, return. I can say div. All right, uh, let's make this a little bit more interesting, h1. This is a a count, whoop, counter. Um, cool. And in our counter, we're going to need two buttons. Cool. Uh, let's say up. The other one is going to say we need another one that says down. Uh, and then we actually just need. Let's see. Let's just make this like a placeholder for a number. Um, Let's just see what happens, okay? That's just a placeholder. This doesn't have any logic in it. It's not going to do anything, okay? So again, let's export. Default. Counter. Okay? All right. So this is literally like a box of chocolate. So remember that our, um, I'm sorry, our component has to go inside of the container, and the container goes inside of the big box, which is the app, okay? So we export here, we go back to our container, and we import it here. Import, so what do we call this? Counter, import counter from, okay? And so we're already like in our containers folder, so we have to go back up and back down, so we go two dots. Come Components slash counter comp dot js. Okay, so instead of saying hey, I'm the counter container, let's go ahead and say counter right there. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh, there we go. This is a counter container. Zero, up, down. Cool. So we have these all nested inside of each other. So again, we inside of our app.js, which is kind of our main holder of all of the containers, we have our counter container right there. We imported it. And again, in our counter container, we have our counter, which is all of the nitty gritty stuff. This is all of the cool nifty uh, things that are going to be outputted onto the page. So up next, uh, we will be starting to talk about the logic that happens, and all of that happens in the container. So go ahead and tune in next time, and we'll see you soon.